Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Locust number one. The second issue is out this week, so we're going a little bit in the past to review the first issue. Uh, published by Scout Comics. It is written by Massimo Rossi, art by Alex Nieto, lettering by Maria Gentili. Um, so, Locust. It is one of a string of comics, there seems to be a lot of them, uh, involving pandemics and like world-changing events. I know this is a very popular topic before all hell went to, everything went to hell in the real world, uh, but it seems like there's been quite a few of them coming out lately, whether or not it's planned on purpose or just, you know, timing, whatever. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little weird to kind of at times read some of these. Uh, so this one is about a, a strange illness that sweeps about the, uh, across the, the world, uh, and it seems to turn people into locusts. Hence the title, Locust. Really simple on that one. Um, I think uh, uh, what's interesting, though, is it's not really about the pandemic. We, we see a guy kind of just wandering through the uh, barren land, through this uh, New York City, I'm assuming it's New York City, and kind of reflecting on the past. We get some of his past as to like, how we got to where we're at. And uh, he's on a mission. He's on a mission to find kids, or at least a kid in particular. And it seems that there is some religious sect that is holding them, and he's out to go, uh, you know, deliver justice and uh, free the kids. So, you know, while it is a pandemic story, it really is just a revenge tale. It's, you know, your your apocalyptic story of, of one man out to go whip some ass and free some kids. It's it's uh, kind of what the second Mad Max story, you know, a little beyond Thunderdome, Thunderdome a little bit, or I guess that would be the third one. Is that the third one? That's the third one, I think. Uh, it's a little th uh, Thunderdome-ish. Uh, and, of course, a lot of other uh, stories as well that kind of have that theme and, and concept. So, you know, in that, it, it's, you know, nothing new. But I think what's interesting is that, yeah, you know, it starts off with this pandemic, with this horrible thing, and then it shifts, and it really isn't about that pandemic. It's more of a, this is how we got to this world as opposed to this is the world we're focused on. Uh, you know, it's a little bit Walking Dead in that way, where it seems that the, the main story isn't, the uh, the all the hell breaking loose. It's really about the people that survive and this person on a mission, which is kind of cool. Uh, there are some like really creepy things. I'd love to know if the creators decide to rework it. Uh, it kind of talks about this this disease spreading, and I think that was maybe my uncomfortableness. Um, I actually think there's some really cathartic things to kind of maybe uh, think through this past year, help uh, get through the past year and a half uh, by reading these sort of stories. But this one felt a little weird in that it it really felt it kind of covered the whole COVID spreading aspect of it. So that, that was a little odd. Um, but I got past it eventually. You know, it was a little uncomfortable, but not that bad. Um, the art is, is interesting. It's got that nice kind of broken down world vibe to it. Uh, very like muted, very kind of cold, calm. Um, yeah, I mean, you can just kind of see it. There's something just very, not really serene, but like just that like, you know, emptiness. It's it's very like I Am Legend in that way, that the film where it's just, you know, him out in the middle of nowhere and very quiet. Quiet would be maybe a great way of putting it on the page. It's quiet. Um, I like it. You know, it's it's a really interesting start. Uh, this, as I said, second issue is out this week, so I'm kind of fascinated to see what the second issue brings and where the series goes, but um, I, I like it in that it it, you know, while I started reading I kind of rolled my eyes of like, oh, it's going to be like a pandemic story. I don't know if I really want to read this completely. Uh, you know, it's still at the same time, it, um, it, it doesn't, doesn't focus on that. It doesn't dwell on that. So, you know, there, there's moments where it hits a little bit close to home, but overall, I think it's, it's really, really well done and, um, a very, it's a slow burn of a start, uh, just to warn you. And I have no problem with that. I actually kind of I dig that. And I think the, the tone and the pacing and all that of the, of the first issue is actually really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, this should be out in comic shops. You can get it. Got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell shops near you. No shop, no problem. We'll have some uh, links underneath. There might be some affiliate links, but at least be probably to at least the scout site uh, to get it from. The affiliate links, uh, we do get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Just watching these videos, supporters. So thank you for that. If you're into scout comics, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.